I can't really start anywhere else other than the game today. Six goals, a clean sheet, and most importantly, a win. A silly question, maybe, but did you enjoy the game? Yeah, it was great. Um, from the first minute, my first goal went in. It was great. I was, uh, uh, yeah, great results. It was a special day on the pitch, it's a special day off the pitch as well. I understand it's your birthday, so happy birthday. Thank you. When you were deciding where to spend your birthday, what was it that made you decide to come here? Um, basically, it was over Christmas. Uh, my wife asked, what should we do for your birthday? And I thought, you know what, there's a, there's a home game being played. So I, I looked it up, it's called Rain at Home. And I thought, let's just go to Belfast. She's never been before. And my kids came last year and they loved it. So I thought, let's just do a weekend in Belfast. Um, watch the game, go do the sighting tomorrow. So. And what a great birthday present. Could not have asked for more than that. Yeah, today's result moves us up to fourth in the league. We've had a lot of injuries this season, so uh, we want to keep climbing, looking towards Europe again. With the County Upper Shield final, and a number of those players that were injured are now coming back from injury. The transfer window's open as well. Where do you sit with all of that? Yeah, look, I mean, it's, um, you know, it's, it's, it's an interesting time, isn't it? I mean, we, obviously, being fourth, we should be higher up. Obviously, no one's happy with where we are, as far as the league is concerned. But look, yeah, the, the Antrim finals coming up and then the Irish Cup was still a strong contender there. So I'm very optimistic for those two. Transfer windows open, a lot of talks going on. Uh, we are talking to many, many people. Um, watch this space. We should ha hopefully have some good announcements in the next uh, couple of weeks. So. And I know you follow things closely at Glen Torn. Are you aware of the rumours and noise on social media about Glen Torn's financial situation? Some say there's a lot of money owed in debt. Literally. I, I, I arrived today from London, I checked into the hotel, I got dragged to the Oval by the, by the boards, uh, crisis talks. So I sat down. I wasn't aware of anything until uh, I was told of various rumours. I thought, again? I was here a few months ago, same thing was talked about then. I'm pulling out, there's no money. I thought, how much longer can this nonsense go on for? Because it is nonsense, absolute nonsense. Nothing's changed financially since the day I started four years ago. We're still in a very strong position. Um, now, the debt, which you mentioned, I've seen some of the, the, the stuff on social media just a few hours ago. That debt is my money, right? It's not, we don't owe anyone money. There's no banks, there's no lenders, there's no charge on the oval. The oval is debt free for the first time 50 odd years, I think. I've been told by many people, well, this Glen Torn today is in the strongest financial position it's ever been, ever. So these are why these rumors kind of, I, I get confused sometimes because I don't know where they come from. Now, obviously this is a, this is a business um, and Glen Torn is, is a big, it's a big club, it's a big business, right? So, and my job as a shareholder, as an investor is to keep investing. So 2020, well, COVID 2020, then 2021 onwards, you know, I had to keep helping out the club, reinvesting more money. Now, when you invest in a business, you have to account for that money. It has to get recorded properly. Um, and that becomes a director's loan. So you have to show that as a loan in, in the accounts. That's how all businesses in the world operate. So when, okay, if someone's not maybe, you know, not experienced in the world of business and they see huge, debt sitting on the balance sheet, they might panic, but um, that's not the case at all. We, we, we're totally sound financially. Um, am I happy? Well, no, I'd rather we were more profitable, but that's the risk I took when I invested in Glen Torren. Um, so I'll carry on doing this for as long as I need to. So um, don't believe any of the rumors. And I don't know where these rumors start from, to be honest. Um, it can't be our fans because you know, I, I, I usually brush off rumours, but sometimes the, the timing is very interesting because you know, this transfer window, same thing happened last few, you know, six months ago in the summer. You know, it's quite dangerous, these rumours, right? So I usually ignore everything, but sometimes a time like this, we're trying to sign players. What player would join a club which is on the verge of bankruptcy, right? So there's, the stadium money is due to come in this year, hopefully. That's a big year for us. You know, the government won't give, a, won't give a football club any money if they think it's going to be bankrupt soon. So whilst I shrug off rumours usually, sometimes they can be quite dangerous. Um, so I, yeah, I don't know how much longer I have to keep repeating myself, but look, it's all nonsense. We don't have an overdraft. I mean, I don't know one business in the UK which doesn't have an overdraft.
right? So that tells you a lot. Um, no, we're very, very sound financially and it's utter nonsense, whatever on social media you may have heard. Thank you very much for taking the time to clear up with us and we'll let you enjoy the rest of your birthday. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.